Hello and welcome to This Week in Privacy. My name is Alexis Katsafidis and here are your regulatory highlights for this week. The National Institute of Standards and Technology released Revision 5 of Special Publication 853 on security and privacy controls for information systems and organizations. The publication represents a multi-year effort to provide a catalog of controls to protect against a diverse set of threats and risks, including hostile attacks, human errors, natural disasters, structural failures, foreign intelligence entities, and privacy risks. The publication addresses security and privacy from a functionality perspective, namely the strength of functions and mechanisms provided by the controls, and from an assurance perspective, the measure of confidence in the security or privacy capability provided by the controls to ensure that IT products and the systems that rely on those products are sufficiently trustworthy. NIST also highlighted that additional material will be made available, including control mappings to the NIST cybersecurity and privacy frameworks. The Swiss Federal Assembly adopted the revised version of the Federal Act on Data Protection following lengthy reviews and debates regarding proposals made. The revised law includes additional provisions on areas such as profiling, the right to be informed, the protection of sensitive personal data, as well as the protection of children's data. The Federal Assembly highlighted that the revised law aims to ensure that the EU recognizes Switzerland as equivalent in terms of data protection. The Federal Data Protection and Information Commissioner welcomed the completion of the revision to the FADP, noting that it better reflects today's digital reality. The revised FADP is subject to a referendum and the Federal Council will determine the date of its entry into force. In India, the Joint Parliamentary Committee, set up to review the Personal Data Protection Bill 2019, filed a motion to extend the presentation of its findings and report to the Winter Session of Parliament. The bill, which was released in December 2019, includes several changes to the 2018 version, in particular on data localization and transfer requirements. Section 40 of the 2018 bill required data fiduciaries to store a copy of all personal data on a server or data center located in India, while Section 33.1 of the 2019 bill limits this requirement to sensitive personal data. You can find out more about how the two bills compare to each other, as well as to the GDPR, through OneTrust Data Guidance's GDPR benchmarking tool on dataguidance.com. That's all for this week in privacy. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.